Let's go ahead and do the next part. Um, this is going to be <clears throat> procedure A, establishing the relationship between refractive index and percent coffee solids. As the note says, this is really important to get right. So please make sure you take your time when doing this procedure. We will be using the results from this for the rest of the semester. First step, record the mass of a clean, dry 100 milliliter beaker. My clean, dry 100 milliliter beaker is 11.3 grams. Add approximately 2.5 grams of Taster's Choice Coffee to the beaker for the actual mass of the beaker plus coffee. So here's my Taster's Choice. Brand new. Oh. Smell that coffee. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Um, and I'm going to put 2.5 grams in there. So 11.3, 12.3, 13.3, 13 13.8. And the exact amount doesn't matter. Thirteen going for thirteen point eight. Still not. Fourteen. Fourteen uh, grams. So I got a little bit more. That's fine. Remember, as we're shooting for two point five, it says approximately two point five got a little bit more. And I'm still going to add the 22.5 grams. Well, well, we'll do that too, uh, as close as we can. So 22.5, so 14 plus 22.5. Now I'm going for Takes a second for the scale to respond. Got my water. Yep, oh, made it to 36.6. Nope, 36.5. Write that down. I've got my coffee slurry here. I'm going to stir that. I got my clean, dry spoon. I'm going to stir it with a clean, dry plastic spoon. It's important that the spoon is dry, um, clean is obvious, and dry because you don't want to add any more water. And before I make the next solution, I will rinse these off with soap and water and then dry them off. You could, if you had a couple spoons, you could do that too. But I'm going to have to rinse this out again too. I still have some coffee here, so I'm going to do my best to dissolve all of it. It's a pretty, it doesn't smell as good as it used to. So I'm scraping the sides. I got the spoon in there. Uh, I may, well, we'll do our best to get all of it to dissolve. Let me see. Putting the whole spoon under the water because there's some on the spoon. I can't touch it because I don't want to add my fingerprints to it or take any coffee out does look like there's a tiny bit of coffee that I just can't seem to get off the spoon. Otherwise, it looks like it's dissolved. Okay. And this one doesn't, well, it has one bubble on top. Uh, let's put the scale to the side here. Now it's time to get out our handheld refractometer. And I'm going to put down a little towel here so that I don't get it on my pretty periodic tablecloth that perhaps you've seen. Set it down, get the dropper. And to, oh, what happened? 
there is sort of this creamy stuff on top. I'm going to try not to get. I'm going to go down deep into the solution. I only need two or three drops. But I'm at the top of the prism. I think two is going well. Better to have too much than not enough. Otherwise, I'm going to spit that out and rinse this with some water so that I can get all that coffee out before it makes the whole thing brown. And close this. Hmm. The whole prism is not wet. More drops. All right. Now this has got some water in it. So suck up a little bit. One, two, three times. Now I got the coffee that I want in here, right? Because I don't want to dilute it with any extra water. Put four or five drops on this time and just keep it in there. And a little bit dropped off, but you can see that the whole thing does have coffee in it, the whole prism. Oh, that's hard to say. Uh, it is hard to see, so I'm gonna get my phone and see if a little additional light will help. Hello. Uh, I'm going to shine this light right into prism. Wow, that is one diffuse thing there, huh? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Actually, I've got it sort of out the edge here. And it's still hard to see, but there is a blue. It sort of gets a light blue or like, but I'm getting one point. It's right under the 10. So 1.35, 1.351, 35. 1 two, three, five, three, three, five, four, three, five, five, no, three, five, four, five, three, five, four, five, one point three, five, four, five as my ND value. And I'm just, I'm reading to the closest line because you, it's hard to do it. And yeah, I mean, it's, that's where there's a sort of transition. It is hard to see, but I can see blue and then a transition to sort of a light blue, which might be because it's brown coffee. And then, yeah, that's where the transition is. Ooh. Uh, ooh, let's just do that again, just in case I got a, oh, just in case I got a drop there, I'm gonna do it again. I got some air bubbles. Oh, I got a lot of air bubbles. Mm. It's hard to get rid of the air bubbles sometimes, but now I'm going to put drops of coffee at the top. I'm going to close it at an angle. So I got one tiny air bubble. Let's see how that one looks. Yeah, I think I had no air bubbles before. Let's try for no air bubbles. And I don't want to drip this on my computer. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, see that big air bubble right there? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to wipe it off. 
and I did not use my microfiber cloth, but that'll be all right. All right, let's go for no bubbles. Put my drops of coffee on the top there. So I got a little tiny bubble at the bottom. And, <coughs> excuse me, this time it's reading, I wanna say 1.3535. And how am I gonna get that bubble out? This may be as precise as we can get with this. Now there's more bubbles. Now there's more bubbles. Yeah, let's try it again. And my cloth here is getting kind of wet, but this is a, an older cloth that I can wash and have all these coffee, all this coffee come out. But I'll keep you updated on that because, all right, let's see here. Looks like there's a bubble. Yeah, I had a bubble actually in the liquid. Try one more time. It's just sort of flowing down. Oh, that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, one point. Again, this interface is hard to read. 1.3535. I think that's the good result. 1.3535. So, because there's really, well, there's just the tiniest little bubble. I don't know if you can even see it. It's right at the bottom of the prism. So, 1.3535 for this solution. And really what I should do is I should take one of these that just has water in it. And well, I'm gonna actually just go over to the sink and wash it off so I can use my microfiber cloth. <laughs> 